on a new site what's up my people frosty cold site we got a water line we got gas line here we got to watch out for hooking up city water public water fastest way to make a straight line is with a string line going to the wellhead here we're using cts black three quarter hooking in right here with this and then we're hooking to an existing this is a crawl space in this house so it's a little tricky we're going to dig down to this well pet cock find the, the well line going in and then we're going to cut it and use that well line hopefully to use uh, as a conduit and feed it into the house if not worst case we'll hook this city water into the existing well line with a barb fitting and good to go we're going to measure down here to the pet cock which it looks about four and a half and uh then we'll know where it is here this video is being shot in 4k first time doing 4k we'll see how it goes it was a high request we got dirt sexy giving us a hand today measuring down in the well casing we're just about five foot minus a foot here so we're four foot so <clears throat> we'll get down three and a half almost start probing with this shovel away find it be careful same thing with this uh curb box because we do have gas line only one foot away <clears throat> so we got to pull this way go nice and easy curb box is here people that follow me regularly see me open these up Stay tuned. All right, we'll get you out of the sun first. We're gonna open up the well head just in case the plumber comes, letting this cycle through. This hydraulic oil is cold. Fastest way to warm up hydraulic oil is curl that bucket like that, and just spill over relief and hold it. You can hear it, it's, it's bypassing, it's spilling over relief, and that's the fastest way. But I still do all my functions, bring it right back, bring it right down. Get that cold stuff back to the tank. All right, make sure you're straight on that line. If you want a straight line, run your ooh, run your tooth back and forth on that line to make sure you're straight. Nice and easy. It's not a race here. Not a race when you're dealing with utilities. Got dirt sexy smiling at me over there like I'm uh, crazy. Hopefully we don't hit rock. We got rock in the area. Gonna keep the piles a little close. Looks like nice top soily gravel right now. Oh boy, don't like the sound of that. swing motor warmed up everything's so cold on these hydra it's like eight degrees this morning we're hitting nice bony gravel which i hope it stays like this the whole time we'll dig down keep your well casing keep your well casing clean hey mike what side does that pickcock go out open up the cap i'll take it easy on that case yeah it's facing to the right all right so we'll dig this a little wider here just so we have room when we're down in the hole Man, that's 
some beautiful stuff there. When you hear it trickling like that, that's pennies. That's straight pennies coming. All right, I'm gonna cut this back here. We'll cave it in. Let that roll in. Open up your case again and just we'll double check that. All right, we're getting to it. We found the pet cock coming out. It's 49 inches, there's our black pipe. That's why you go slow and take measurements. You go in there gun ho with the teeth, you'll be repairing stuff that doesn't need to be repaired. It's right there, go easy. That's just it's gonna be a piece of metal that will be barbed into plastic most likely, but we'll open it up, find out. All right, we're getting exposed. It's just habit to paint. Oh, my paint's frozen? What's going on here? Have this in the truck. There we go. It's a good habit just to paint your utilities so you can see them from the cab. I always put a mark where I'm going to be. There's our flying exposed. That's where we'll cut. And hopefully, that looks like it's an inch and a half. The inside diameter, hopefully, we'll be able to cut it here and feed that new CTS pipe into that one to use that as the conduit. Like I said, this is a crawl space, so we can't get in there. And then the plumber could hook everything up inside the house where it comes up through. Worst case, cut, barb it and go from that pipe to our CTS three-quarter. That says four foot there? Four foot, where are you doing? All right, you're good. Perfect. It's Mark it? No, I can see the hole. Right. Nothing else on the ground, bring it down there, right? That's not me. Not supposed to be anyone? That's what the boss said. bucket a full bucket over to the line so it has a jog in it <clears throat> remember we got utilities here so we had this sewer line the gas line so we're jogging this to stay away from the driveway because the driveway is basically right where Mike is standing my track is actually sitting on the driveway so this is a flex line so it doesn't matter we can uh, make anything work Here. And we may do we may even do it another time and then once we get into the curb box we'll we'll shoot it over. Whatever we gotta do to make it work. Because that's what we 
do. We're running into different materials, sticking in the bucket. Now we're running into clay. there not good don't like that stuff I can reach I'll come back in still got to go down eight inches there we're into some crappy material now oh, clay I'm talking to everybody he says you talking to me or YouTube <laughs> said this side of the line try to stay off that we we're just uh, thinking of how we're gonna play this play when we come to the curb box usually I pull away from the curb box but we're gonna be digging to it so I don't have to straddle this trench at first we we're gonna dig the curb box up and then walk the machine back over this trench like we normally do but this ground is soft and uh, with the driveway there we don't want to straddle it and have this roll off into the hole so that's the play right now gonna just keep going and I'll sit in the road to dig the last bit we'll cone it off always got to throw the audible in and know what you're doing stop you know you got to stop and assess the situation man mucky stuff right there Mike yeah it's the bad stuff at all we got to see to put it here too do I have a what? Shut off? Uh, yeah, the shut off is there on the, the curb box. That is the shut off. So they'll turn, they'll turn that on when we all hooked up. When you first grab your side, just grab your six inch. Pull that off. Make your, your trench nice and neat. Nice and neat. this 4k footage shows the difference I know a lot of people not a lot a few people I used to shoot 2.7k for years and then I uh, got the GoPro 11 and did 1080 and never took it off by accident and I even got a new computer and all and we're gonna see how it works one thing is 1080 is a lot faster when you're editing <laughs> I know that your piles nice and clean on the sides and keep your sides clean it makes a big difference like when you come up just pull your dirt over like that if you have some sod or whatnot so you can walk on and not trip and fall in the hole
to the mailbox on the right. Power line's up above and tail is in the road. Got about, probably have to move back three more foot to get the rest of this. But we're looking good on the driveway. That was a good move, tugging, joggy in that. Jogging the line over the bucket on the blue line. We're back into gravel, it looks like. Touch of clay, but not much. We only hit one bad spot. Gotta be careful when we get in this area because of the utilities, but I think we're good. At least that's what Dig Safe says. You gotta be careful when you dig back like this because if you hook onto the the curb box you can peel it up which will break the tube if it's copper uh, or packs you can pull it right off they're only on um, with compression oh, fitting hang on all right so this curb box we're just gonna cave it in on itself backwards because we are digging it backwards and we do not want to pick it and then we'll have to find the uh, where it comes out. Usually they put them so they're straight parallel with the house, but you never know. So just keep caving and taking your fill fluff power up above. Keep watching that. We should get it. And we might have to make a little cave down in the bottom just so we don't undermine the driveway to get the hook up. But we'll assess that soon as we get to that position and that's when I'll get back with you. trenches we got sand here we notched this bank back because this was angled like this from when they backfilled they did it we just notched that back we'll have that down in it's all sand which i haven't seen that before and of course this is gonna come off and then our cotter pin is there but we'll dig all that out and show you that in a bit but right now we're down in this end we got our black pipe in and we're gonna feed it into the house hopefully it goes in we got our pipe on a, a pipe, which works great. We're gonna cut this, probably be a little water coming out. Cut it back here, give us some room. Come on. Not much pressure, not much pressure. Good. Let that go in, the gravel should take care of that. Theoretically, we're gonna take that black pipe stick it in this black pipe feed it into the house and this will act as a conduit again to recap in case anybody skipped which they shouldn't be this is a crawl space we cannot get in there we're gonna feed this right in we'll have city water in the house all right we're gonna try to feed her all in oh it fits so far oh, we're gonna get this black tape off as we go and we're going in Great deal this would be. Alright, down in the trenches, no trash not down here. I'm just gonna make it work. Try to keep that dirt out of here as I pull it in. Keep it off the bank, Mike. Hug hug 
Hug your side of the bank. Hug your right side of the bank. There you go. We're going. Tape's everywhere. All right, watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. We're on. We're on uh, live film here. Don't worry about that knife. Just pull the tape off. Oh, come on. Uh, We should be there by now. I don't think we're going as fast as we are. Say it again. Plenty, Plenty oh. in there? All right, good. We're in the house. So we're in the house. We got plenty of foot left, probably 150 foot left. We're gonna open up that curb box and get this get this in and backfilled and compact it up and lifts. All right, we're down to the curb box here. Here's our sand layer. Look how close this, this is our two inch, I think that's two, maybe three inch uh, gas line. That's why this was angled up out. They got away from it. They always put duct tape on here. So I already unscrewed that. It's full of dirt. I gotta clean these parts out and make sure that rubber gasket is in there. Don't put this on if that don't have a rubber gasket. Get a new one from your town or wherever. But that did have the gasket, I seen it. And always put the gasket writing out. I'm just going to turn this on just a bit. Hang on. I don't wanna, I'm going to end up getting soaked in, in here, but down in the trench here. Oh, come on. Turn. Good. All right, let's get this on now. Oh, come on. Oh, she froze up. There she goes. This cracker nice and easy. That's, you know you're doing good if you got water. Clean out there. There's a ton of dirt in there. Let's go nice and easy. Let her trickle. We'll clean everything up with that. Little trickle trickle. You can fire it up a little bit if you want. And I will once I'm out of the way. Wait, just give it a little more now. I got my knees wet. Nice. Clean up your parts. And then I got a bucket. We'll put water and clean up this part, clean up that end, make sure that gasket's all good. All right, so here's the part that goes down on there, which turns, and it has a cotter pin through there. Usually you're supposed to put, use copper. Yeah, that is copper, but it's just old and broke. Probably from when it angled from the backfill, snapped it. So that would have been tough to turn on anyway. So we'll put a new one in there. And this goes over there, that all looks good. And this is adjustable. <clears throat> I've explained in other videos. This slides up and down for your grade. So if you got one a foot high and you keep hitting it with the mower or car, hit it with a sledgehammer, it will go down. Don't be afraid and vice versa, you could lift it up. So we got this all clean, the water's tested, it's working good. We're gonna get it all hooked up and then uh, we'll pressurize it. Wheeling it down, we'll make it find its home into the, carve a little trench in there and fill back over with some silty stuff. Cut it the length, install it. All right, about to cut this line. Uh, I'll cut it a little big and make it comfortable for me. Everything's cleaned up down in there. Everything's padded all the way to this point right here. This is cleaned up. This doesn't have a removable gasket. The gasket's in there. There's different styles. The other style I was talking about has writing on it. Just make sure the writing's facing away from what you're pushing in because sometimes the writing will cause a leak. You're gonna just squeeze these ever so slightly to go easy because you it's cold so it ain't gonna matter now but in the summer you could flare the end of that which ain't really a big deal this is gonna go in here but the biggest prop the biggest thing that you cannot mess up is this crush fitting to go in here you gotta put that in there if you don't put that in there you'll kink your water line so that gets pushed in there like that yeah get rid of that hose then this goes we're gonna stuff this into the fitting down there and then tighten this up let's go down and do it so before we put this on i just want to show you this is a nut in the back i this ain't the wrench for it but i got the wrench in the truck it's like an inch and a half you're going to hold that when you tighten this so you're not twisting the back side of this nut okay and i have in other videos like i said on water lines where i show this whole thing outside the hole because i installed a whole new uh curb box i'll put a link in the description for that video all right let's show time let's get this in there Oh, you're in the way. 
<clears throat> bottom that out. Make sure you know, I'll take it out again and make sure it's in. But it's bottomed out. So if you're not sure, wiggle it back and forth like that till it bottoms out. If it's not bottom out, it's, it will leak. Get this on. There was some dirt on the threads, but she's going now. So here's a perfect scenario what I'm talking about. You gotta put a wrench on the backside. These guys who installed this really went easy on that this backside. So the, what I'm working on here is the same as this. It looks the same. So watch when I go to tighten this. I ain't even got a wrench on it. It starts spinning this whole piece, which means that backside's loose. So we're gonna wanna tighten that up for them because that is a potential leak. So first, first, I'll grab mine, put two wrenches on it, and uh, we'll put two wrenches on it and give it the old boo -ha. Just like that. And you ain't gotta go, I mean, you gotta go, but you don't gotta go, you know what I mean? It's still only plastic. But that backside and the copper should be at least, you shouldn't spin it that easy. I mean, I just gave it a little and she went. So we're gonna clean this up and tighten that up too. All right, the back side here, we're just gonna give it a nugget there and that should work. Yeah, it does seem tight, but it's spun. Oh, yeah, no, it's t tight enough. It's good to go. We're gonna test the water right now. Hey, that valve is on. Yes, the so it's shut. On and it's shut off, yes. Okay. We'll see if our work works here. Turn this on. I hear water going. Yeah, make sure you're not flooding the house out. I'll turn it on. I'm gonna turn it off right now, but at least it's pressurized. So we know ours isn't leaking right now, but he's going in just to check the house. We're good to go. We're just padding it. Waiting for the town to get the inspection on this and we'll backfill this up and lift. Throw the plate, diesel plate compactor on the 88. All right, back down in the hole. Inspection went well. We're just gonna put everything back together. Put a new pin in this. Once this goes on, find the hole. So there's a hole in here and it goes through that. Oop, so we'll go through this hole there, make sure it's clean. And then, then you put the top on. Come on now, where are you? Dark down here. Uh, this has to sit flat, and it's not. There we go. Get in there. Come on. Hmm. Let's see if it goes through here. Nope. We got. We got to clean this out. Put your cotter pin through there. Make sure you fold this back. Now your valve will turn on. This piece here is gonna put that U part so that U goes over the thing. Do not put the U so it's like this. You'll cut that. So we're going in here, right here. Slide it on down. Again, not, not like that, like this. So it bridges that. Go back in our trough we made and we should be good to go and as we backfill we'll hold this up plumb just like that and we should be good to go all right first scoop of backfill we'll bring this trench halfway up and then compact it then compact, compact the top It's cold again. Ready? Yeah. Man, they act funny when they're cold. They don't want to move these hydraulics. Teetering on the drainage swale on the blacktop. There we go. We'll throw a little in there, then he'll pack in with his foot around that curb box. We're about 
halfway on the trench. Still getting our first lift. Coming up about two foot and then two foot on the top. Hit it twice with the packer. We'll be good to go. That diesel compactor is unbelievable with dirt. Makes it like concrete. Taking my bucket like so and flattening out the lift as I go. Come up another six inches there. That helps the compactor stay true. The compaction, I should say. Hey. Got a little sloppy there, a little spillage. Yeah, it looks about halfway up. All right, we're ready for our lift with the diesel compactor. And this, tell, I tell you guys, this makes it like concrete. Concrete. every pass just a little bit lower to the grass you're gonna scalp it a little because this is really soft especially with the snow sitting on it but again nothing but a little grass eating hay will take care of the spring and then if you're high here it doesn't make you just grab it grab it right in your trench just don't go down too deep obviously you're not gonna go four foot you just grab it a little bit you put it where you need to put it right down in that trench. So drop down real good for you. one last jiggle with this just to set the top and then we'll break the rocks over it do this with the, the, the diesel equipment acts like a grading blade all right this one's all compacted up a little rake job we're good to go 
All right, we got some fresh paint on the curb box. Everything's raked out for the best we can. You know, spring, winter's here, and winter, then spring, then we're gonna, he'll, it will settle out. He'll have to do some remediation at that point. But as far as uh, rake out goes, it's good. It was homeowner's idea to sleeve that. Thought he was a little crazy at first, but that worked out slick. That worked out slick. That went in really easy, and it's all in the house hooked up. Inspection's good. He's good. He's got his water hooked up. So we excavated, hooked up the water all in one day. Good to go. Catch you guys on the next one.